Hello, it's Jim. Today is part two of our Flat Nose Race Car J build. Let's get started. So in part one, we built our platform up. Let's do a little bit of cable management. Let's put in a zip tie to manage our motor controller wires. We'll keep this loose for the time being. We use the zip ties to keep the wires out of the drivetrain when it's rotating. Let's flip this over. In this build, I'm going to install an RP LiDAR. It goes right here. This platform standoff is in the way, so let's remove it. Let's install the RP LiDAR. We need four M3 by eight screws to attach the RP LiDAR to the platform deck. The cable goes towards the back. We use a two millimeter driver to secure it. Then we install the other three. You might want to use a little bit of thread locker on this if you are not going to be removing it frequently. You might want to also consider longer IMU standoffs so that you don't rub up against the bottom of the IMU. Now we're ready to install the platform onto the car chassis. So here's our car chassis we put together in a previous episode. There are two electrical connections we need to make. One is to connect the ESC to the motor wires. The other is to connect the ESC to the steering servo. So let's do that first. Let's do the steering servo. Make sure that the wires coloring match. Black goes to black, red to red, white to white. We'll use some electrical tape here. just to make it happy. Next, let's install our battery wire. This wire extends an XT60 connector to a Traxxas battery connector. Next, let's install the USB wire that connects the USB hub to the Jetson. It's one of these USB 3.0, USB B connectors to USB A connectors. We'll install the power wires. One of these goes to the Jetson, the other goes to the USB hub. This is easier to connect to the USB hub when the platform is not connected to the car. Just run it through this little hole here. Now we're ready to connect the motor control wires. Let me change the angle of the car around a little here. So we plug the three wires together. So when we go to run the motor, if it goes backwards from what we intended to do, all we have to do is switch two of these wires. Now we're ready to install the IMU. Let's take the IMU out of its package. We use quarter inch 440 screws to connect it to the standoffs. And now we're ready to install the Jetson. Let's take the Jetson out of its little static bag.
Let's detach the Jetson from its little stand here. Now we can install the Jetson. The camera points towards the back of the vehicle. Let's attach the Jetson. We use four quarter inch 440 screws. Let's attach the IMU to the USB hub. Have a micro USB to USB A cable. Now let's prepare our top platform. For this build, we're going to use a Logitech C920 webcam. Let's open this up. You can see that it has a quarter 20 mount on it. The top platform has a hole for the quarter 20. Tighten that down. Now let's mount it on our car. Okay, so we have a little bit more wiring to do. Let's run our USB cable down through this access hole. And let's attach our platform. We use 7 16 inch 440 screws. Now we have some wiring to finish up. Let's get a different angle. Let's connect our USB hub to the Jetson. The RP LiDAR requires this little interface board to convert it from serial to USB. So let's find that. Plug that into this connector. Then we plug that into the USB hub. And our camera gets plugged into the USB hub also. Now we have some cable management. We need to take these and bundle them together and squirrel them away. We'll use some zip ties. I won't bore you with those details. I'll just do that and then I will show you the end result. Basically add some zip ties here and there. I also used double-sided tape to tape the RP LiDAR interface board to the USB hub. And then here on the other side, then I use some zip ties here on the servo wire. You don't want to make these too tight. You don't want to chafe up against the wire. Now we're ready to attach the platform to the car. Normally you would install the software for the car next and then test to make sure the motors are turning the right way before you mount the platform. But since we have the car out here, might as well show you how to do it. There are four mounting holes, two in each of the suspension towers, front and rear. The first step is to remove this top platform. This allows us access to the rear suspension tower. You just want to remove the platform enough to be able to access the mounting points. We use M3 by 10 screws.
and then we'll reattach our top platform. Initial assembly complete. One step that we want to take is to install our antennas. If you ever want to make an RF engineer unhappy, run your radio without antennas. They get all excited about that. Bunny ears. And then after we have the software installed and everything ready, we'll put on our battery. We'll just use 3M dual lock to put it on the top here on the platform. I'm gonna try this battery out. It has a built-in flashlight. I like that part. Just turn the battery on and on comes the flashlight. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Ring the bell like you're playing the guitar and please subscribe if you have not already. Thanks for watching.